Hi everybody, this is Stephen Pugh of the Home Bible College. This is the ABC, what they didn't teach you in Sunday school or nursery school. We're on the letter E today and the letter E stands for exercise gently to keep fit. Exercise gently to keep fit. Now, the first thing we want to do, by the way, we talked about some of these things in earlier sessions. Some of these sessions just slightly overlap each other and sometimes something comes into other areas. But let me say straight away, don't exercise into a sweaty state. You know, when you sweat, it's not just water that's coming out. It's minerals, it's vital bodily fluids that are coming out. So you don't want to lose all that. So exercise gently, unless you are supplementing with all the mighty 90 vitamins and minerals. If you're doing that, well then maybe that's a different matter. But generally speaking, don't sweat. Okay, don't sweat. You need to walk. Okay, walk. But don't run. But you can walk a lot. Now, if, you, if you've got a tiger coming after you, then, yeah, run. Okay? <laughs> being able to run and being able to swim is very important. You can run if you need to run. And you can swim if you need to swim. But walk. Walk. Use your feet and keep yourself flexible. One of the ways to keep flexible is to swim if you can. Swim every day. Swim. I know a lady who swims every day. Wow. She swims every day. She keeps herself very supple and flexible. And you need to do work every day. You weren't created to do nothing. Oh, you need to have rest, of course, but you need to work every day and never stop working, even if it's light work. Even if it's light work, still work. You need to think a lot. Exercise that brain. You need to enjoy life. Discover new things. Go to new places. Learn new things. Learn art. Learn to paint. Learn language. Learn a new language. Learn science, technology, sociology, politics. Find the local library. <laughs> learn woodworking. Learn pottery. Learn metalworking. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. I know a little old lady who took up welding. She was about 85. She took up welding. She had some jobs she wanted to do. So she went on a course to learn how to weld metal. Amazing. People like that never die. They never die. And uh, if you're retired, explore. One of the things we have in England is a bus pass. Get your bus pass. Get a rucksack and get on the bus and go and find out places. Go to places you've never been before. Enjoy the sunshine. Enjoy the exploration. And have a great day. God bless you all. Bye for now.